Hello my YouTube friends, there's a new OBS out now that comes with some awesome new features for controlling media. Today I'll show you how you can use it to do all kinds of cool things with pre-recorded content in your live stream. So let's get to it! If you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better YouTuber, subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you don't miss any new content. OBS version 26 has a really cool new feature that I want to highlight today. This feature will allow you to play video during your live stream, which of course you could before, but with this you can do so much more. You can start pause, and skip through the media file. And this can help you do all kinds of really amazing things. You could interview yourself, review and do commentary on a movie or show, use video to teach a class more dynamically, or even do a live presentation where you walk someone through how to do something. The limit is only your imagination. This feature is really awesome. Here's how to set it up and use it. So this first one I'm gonna show you is how you can interview yourself. The first thing you wanna know is how to find this feature. So you're gonna to wanna to go up into the drop downs and select view and then source toolbar. And now you can see it right below your preview window. The next thing we have to do is add some sources. First, I'm gonna show you what you could do if you wanted to maybe interview yourself. So I'm going to click the plus under sources and I'm going to select my media source first. And I just click okay and then I browse to the location where I'm going to find my media source file. In this case, I'm gonna use this one called body. Now I wanna uncheck restart playback when the source becomes active. And I wanna do this because if you're using multiple scenes, we really don't want this to restart at the very beginning of the file every time. We want it to kind of keep our place. And if you uncheck this, that's what it will do. And you can see down here at the bottom, you can adjust the speed of your clip as well if you want it to go faster or slower. But we're just gonna leave it default and we're gonna click OK. Now I'm just gonna right click, I'm gonna go into transform and I'm going to fit this to the screen and there we go. Now I can click stop, you can see the video just stops. If I click this refresh, it starts it again from the beginning and I can click the pause to pause it. And I'm gonna resize this up and I'm gonna click the plus under sources. I'm gonna go to text and I'm just gonna add some text up here so you guys know which one is the recording and which one is not. And so we're gonna call this one me one and that one is the recording and I'll move it into place over top of this view. Now I'm gonna add my camera. So I'm gonna go and click the plus and go to video capture device and I'm gonna set up my cam link here. So in devices, I just select cam link and I'm gonna change the device default to custom and then I'm gonna select my resolution, which is the same resolution as my canvas. And I'm gonna use a custom audio device so that I can select the correct microphone. And I just drop this down and I'm gonna select my cam link microphone and click okay. And I check the mic, make sure it works. And now I just resize this window so it looks about the same as the other window. And I'll go ahead down here and click the plus and I'm gonna add some text so that this one is differentiated from the other one. I'll call it me too. And I'm just gonna move that text over top of my window. And there we go, this scene is kind of set up. But what if I wanted to differentiate the look just a little bit on the video? Well, that's really easy. I just select the video source and then I can go ahead and select filters with this new media source toolbar. And I'm gonna click the plus under effects filters and I'm gonna go to color correction and I'm just gonna adjust the color a little bit on this one so it looks different than my live camera. And once I'm finished adjusting, I just hit close and there we go. So now it's a little bit differentiated from my live camera. I can interview myself by just clicking the play and letting myself talk. Then I can click pause when I wanna stop it and I can make my own comments and say whatever I want. This is a really, really cool way to add some fun to your live stream. I mean, who doesn't wanna interview themselves? You could probably come up with all kinds of goofy comedy bits on something like this. Next, I'm going to show you how to play a media source like a video or a movie. So if you wanted to do live commentary, it's really easy. I just go down into the plus under sources and I'm going to select media source and I'm gonna click okay and just browse to that media source file after I uncheck restart playback because of course we still don't want it to restart if we switch scenes. We want it to pick back up where we left it. Now I just scroll through and find the file I'm looking for and click okay and there we go. 
I'm just gonna pause that for a moment and we'll resize it up a little bit and kind of just place it somewhere. Then I'm gonna click the plus and I'm gonna add my camera. So I'm gonna go to video capture device and I'm gonna go ahead and drop this down and select my cam link. And we'll go through the whole process of adding this camera again. I did this once before, so you guys should probably know how to do this by now. Select my microphone and click OK. And now we have our camera in here. I'm just going to adjust the size of this window and poke around here. I can move this window above the other one so it's on top. And you know, there's all kinds of ways you can set this up and you can even have an overlay in the background if you wanted to. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make me full screen and I'm gonna kinda make this a little smaller. And this is the kind of setup that you could use if you're just going to do commentary on a video or a movie or something like that. That's kind of the perfect setup. Now I can play it whenever I want. I can talk about it while it's rolling. I can also pause it anytime I want. Very, very cool. I can also scrub through the video, find a location that it has something I wanna talk about and I can click play or pause or whatever. Now I'm gonna go ahead and maximize this. I'm gonna fit it to the screen and I'm gonna move my camera above it and I'm gonna resize my camera. So if you wanted to have the video in a full screen way, you can do that and you can just place your camera lower. Now all I have to do is select the media source and I can scrub through it in this little media bar and press play. I mean, this is absolutely a really amazing way to be able to control your media. Now if I select it down below, I can move my camera to wherever I want or whatever the other second media source is, or you can have multiple media sources in here. I can pause the video anytime I want and add commentary. I can move to whatever point in the video I want to talk about and just press play. And I mean, the ways that you can use this are just infinite. It's really fantastic. The last thing I want to kind of show you is if you wanted to do a live tutorial, what you can do is do your screen record beforehand and then we can basically use the same setup we have here. All I'm going to do is go ahead and remove this media source and I'm going to click the plus and I'm going to go to media source again and I'm just going to add in a tutorial background video. Something where I recorded the screen earlier and I want to teach the folks in my live stream how to do it. So let's just try this one here. This one is all about Streamlabs transitions. So I can select that video and click open and I can go ahead and uncheck restart playback of course and click OK. And here our video is. I'm just going to move my camera so that it's visible and all you have to do is select it and then use these arrows. And there we go. Now my camera's in here. I can move that anywhere I want. Now I select the media source and it shows up in my toolbar. Now I can move the playhead anywhere I want and walk people right through this screen capture tutorial while I'm on my live stream. I mean, for me, this seems like a great way to be able to teach people during a live stream how to perform or do something. And OBS has now given us the tools to make it so much easier to do just that. Now that you've had a chance to see it, what cool new ways are you gonna use this media feature in OBS Studio? Leave a comment and let me know. And if you want to learn more about the five advanced OBS features you should definitely be using in your live stream, check this video out. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.